Hello and welcome to Lesson 10. This is where we create a different sort of loop and this is called a for loop. Unlike the endless loop, this only runs from one number to another number. So, for example, so for i equals, now it doesn't have to be i, but it commonly is in the materials for this, i equals 1 to 10. Um, and then I say end for. So it's going to count from 1 to 10. The first time this, this runs, it's going to equal, i is going to equal 1. Then it's going to equal 2, then it's going to equal 3, then it's going to equal 4. And it's going to do it that many times. So, for example, text window, right line, um, brackets, I am a fish. And now I run that, and it will run 10 times. So there you go, that's 10 times on the screen. So, that's your very basic version of a for loop. But let's try and do something a little bit more interesting. So instead of writing I am a fish, I'm going to get it to write the variable I. Because back in a couple of lessons ago, we talked about calculated variables. Well, this is a calculated variable. The computer is working out what I equals. And as I just said to you, the first time round, it equals 1. Then it equals 2. Then it equals 3. So, let's watch what this does when I run this program. So the first time round I equaled 1, then it equaled 2, then it equaled 3, and so forth, all the way up to 10. But here's something even more impressive that it can do. You could count from 1 to 100, but you actually don't only, you're not only able to count by 1s, you can actually count by 10s. So, in fact, we're going to go from 0 to 100, and what we're going to do is tell it to take bigger steps. So step 10. So instead of counting 1, 2, 3, 4, it's going to count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so forth. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Well, there we go. I better move that back in. But as you can see, first time through, I equals 0. Then because we said step 10, I equals 10. Then it equals 20, and so forth. So it is your turn to code. I want or it's your time to code. I keep getting that wrong. Um, what I want you to do is I want you to change this program so that it counts from one to five to actually from one to five hundred by fifties. So from one to five hundred by fifties, and it's going to count it. It's going to show the numbers up on the screen just like my program is. So it is now your time to code. 